Hello friends, welcome to the channel Dev DevBBQA. In today's video, we will see how we can open browser in headless mode using the robot framework. So we will see how we can open Firefox browser and the Chrome browser in the headless mode using the robot framework. So if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular updates. On this channel, you can get videos related to automation testing, manual testing and programming languages as well. So let's start with our today's video. In the previous videos, we have seen how to open Firefox browser and the Chrome browser using the robot framework. If you have not seen the previous videos, I will give the link of the videos in the description box. You can watch that videos from there. So in today's video, we have to open the Firefox and the Chrome browser into headless mode. So for opening the normal browser, this is the two lines of code which we have to write for opening a normal browser without the headless mode. So headless mode is a mode in which the browser is not opened on the screen. We cannot see the browser on the screen. The execution of the test case will be happening in the background and at the end we will see the output of the execution that the test case is passed or failed. So for opening the browser in the headless mode we have to write a few lines of code before this create web driver. So for that first of all we will create a variable of options and then evaluate. Evaluate is a built-in keyword which evaluates an expression and it stores into a variable. So whatever expression we will give into this evaluate keyword it will store it it will first evaluate it and then it will store it into this options variable. So the expression that we have to give is sys dot modules. In single quotes we have to give selenium dot web driver. First we will be opening the Firefox browser. So for that we have to give Firefox options. Firefox options so what it will do this line of code it will this evaluate keyword will evaluate this line and it will store it into this options variable it will invoke this firefox options and whatever the options are available it will store it into this options variable and now we have to add a new option into this options variable the option is the headless option so for that we will call a method call method and the method that we have to call is add underscore argument so this add argument is a method which will add the argument whichever is specified in the parameter into a variable so the variable in which we have to add the argument is the options variable so we will write this options variable before this add argument method <coughs> and the argument that we have to add is the headless argument so we have to give it like that two hyphens and then headless what it will do it will add this headless argument into this options variable now we have to create the web driver with the help of these options so there is a flag into this create web driver if you hover it over it you can see what all keywords what all parameters it takes so here we can give options equal to options right so it will take the options that are stored into this options variable and then we can go to a url using this go to keyword now let us see if it is working fine or not let us see the output of this execution so for executing we have to write robot and then the robot file or the path of that file 
so now as you can see it is the test case is being executed but we have not seen any firefox browser on our screen the execution is happening at the background and at the end we are just seeing the result of that execution the test case is passed so if we see the logs of this execution so this is the logs of that execution open browser and each of the line is successfully passed call method add argument then create web driver with the help of these options then go to this url and at last the teardown method is called and the teardown is closed browser so this is the method by which we can open a firefox browser in the headless mode so for opening the chrome browser in the headless mode what we have to do this everything will be same just in the place of this firefox options we have to give chrome options like that so this is the change that we have to do in the place of firefox options we have to give chrome options and in the create web driver we have to give the name of the browser as chrome like that and now let us see if it is working fine or not let us execute the test case and this time let us see which browser is being used for this execution so the test case as you can see it is passed let us go to the logs and this time let us open this create web driver so in this you can see creating an instance of chrome web driver so because we have given the chrome options and the chrome in the create web driver it is using the chrome browser for the execution of the test case so by this method we can open the chrome in a headless mode and if we give firefox in the place of this chrome options we can open firefox in the headless mode so these are the two methods by which we can open firefox and the chrome browser into headless mode using the robot framework so that's all for today's video if you like this video then please hit the like button please comment if you have any suggestions and please subscribe to get regular updates thank you Thank you.